Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we got an episode of Dave the Diver for you. Uh, day 14, part 14 I believe. Now um, we got some things going on, right? We have a Jellyfish Day event that and that's taking place tonight. So that's kind of going to dictate how we handle this episode. Uh, with that said, we also have a VIP visiting uh, by the name of Michael Bang in uh, two days' time. So if we look to the left, we see a thing, Michael Bang's inspiration. We already got some things on hand, but what we need is a... We need three pieces of coral trout and some white rice, which last episode, our good friend Otto introduced us to farming... So uh, we're now playing Dave Dew Valley to an extent. And uh, he told us a little bit about farming, and we have a rice paddy going. Essentially, all we need to do is check on this app and kind of keep an eye on the, the rice growing and I imagine any other crops we have in the future. And the only thing we have to do is weed the plants. So right now the nutrition is 100%. There's zero pests. We got five pieces of rice growing, and we haven't harvested any, which is, I mean, that's cool. So if we look at our to-do list before we set out, we, I mean, we have to earn the Sea People's Trust, but I don't especially care about that. In the last episode, I mean, that it, it was just kind of a humongous letdown, right? Like, I thought it was going to be something cool, but we kind of just got drafted as indentured servants. And, uh, it, uh, like, just how simple the quest system was, it reminded me of my old World of Warcraft days, and it just brought up bad memories of how, how absolute garbage that game is now, so. It hit a sore spot for me, and I don't like to see people. But, I mean, eventually we'll have to go and do their quest, because it's probably the main quest of the game, right? Working with the sea people and figuring out what's going on here in the blue hole. But I don't care about that now. Here's another quest. We just got to go find seahorses. I don't care. And um, at some point, we can't do that tonight because we got to serve jellyfish and make the most we can, the most that we can out of um, out of the event. Because I imagine if we do well and end up making a lot of money, we can really hammer away at some upgrades. Not only for Dave here. So that, you know, think, like we can have a better harpoon, we can go dive, or deeper with a diving suit, we can carry more, more oxygen, this and that. But we could also upgrade the employees as well and just make uh, dinner time that much easier for us. So this is going to have to take a seat on the back burner for a while. And then lastly, Michael Bang's inspiration, all we need is basically a coral trout because the rice will come in time. I'm going to look at Eye Diver, see if there's anything I can get immediately. I got to be careful, right? Because with the amount of employees I have and how skilled they are, I can't go all willy-nilly anymore like I used to on uh, finances. I kind of want to save up for the Dragon Bite Harpoon, if I'm being completely honest. Because that sounds kind of cool. But at the same time, like, bigger air tanks as well as a cargo box would be very beneficial. Huh. I'm gonna get a bigger cargo box, because... Especially with the event we have, it would only be more beneficial to us to bring home more jellyfish, right? Lastly, I want to take a look at the weapon shop and see about um, maybe upgrading the net gun so that I can catch more jellyfish and bring them home. I don't have anywhere near enough rope, though, so that's unfortunate. Maybe next time. That's something we can keep a, an eye out when we're down there. And speaking of which, we're all done with everything up here, so let's head on down. So today is going to be a good day, hopefully. One of the first things we need to do is find... Uh, some weapon crates and or just any like supplies that can help us put some jellyfish to sleep like here's one right now let's see what's in it i mean there's a baseball bat it 
<laughs> It'll definitely put something to sleep, but I don't think it would be in the way that we want it to. There's a harpoon tip. We'll take that. There's also some rope here. We need that. Oof, lionfish and triggerfish. We're gonna sidestep them like usual. I mean, there's... Man, I want to just head straight for the jellyfish, but... These things are rare, so might as well see what they got. Common cat food, that was not worth it. Oh, here we go. I need to get this trigger fish off of me. So trigger fish gone, barracuda gone. I need these coral trouts. And I missed. But it was a new fish, so it's not a total loss. All right, so we got two. We need one more, one more of those coral trouts, or coral fish, and uh, we should be golden. We won't have to worry about that, and we'll just be waiting on the rice. And there we have it. We got all of our coral trout. So now, back to uh, looking for some non-lethal tools. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh, whoa. Dang, that thing is quick. Oh my gosh, that, that thing literally came out of nowhere, at least, I mean, I wasn't paying attention, I wasn't paying attention enough to see it coming out. That almost killed me. Good thing I had that, um, good thing I had that O2 can on hand. Wow. Those things are kind of more dangerous than the shark, honestly. Oh, -ho, look at this. A tranquilizer tip. I haven't been lucky finding anything so far to um, help me collect jellyfish, so this might just be what I need. So I haven't necessarily been fortunate enough to find any kind of non-lethal tools other than this harp uh, tranquilizer harpoon, but I don't want to stay in here forever, so let's just see what we can get, I, I guess. There's a crate here. Hopefully we get lucky. I got a golf club. I, uh... I didn't get lucky, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, 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 here we go. I found it. A hush dart. Nice. Now all I need to do is find the jellyfish. Here we go. Our first jellyfish. Ooh, ooh it's right next to a, um, frill shark, though. This could prove dangerous. Stick him with a trank dart and just wait him out. There it is. Easy. On to the next one. running out of air and it had me concerned but luckily there was a uh, can of oxygen here that we can just go ahead and crack open and while we're up here let's get some more ammo I mean there should be some jellyfish up here right oh that's not a jellyfish
Oh! Oh my gosh, they're so devastating. So that wasn't good. However, I'm somewhat greedy, so I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to catch this one, refill my ammo, go back, get the oxygen from the clam, and then come back here, and then I'm going to call it there. Alright, here we go. I found another jellyfish. Hopefully there's some more by it. Yeah, there's one right there, and there's the last one. Cool. Oh, I gotta get over here quick. Grab you. And grab you. Nice. And wonderfully enough, there's a escape pod right here, so we don't even have to go back. That's perfect. So we are back, and we have quite the haul. We got a lot of cooking ingredients, as well as some cat food. Uh, let's see. We got blue head tilefish roe, coral trout roe, lionfish... Some shrimp roe, okay. Black tiger shrimp? Okay, I thought I was gonna say tiger shark. I was I thought like, ah, I didn't catch any tiger shark today. But on the other hand, we caught a tile fish by accident. We got the coral trout we need for the Michael Bang. We caught another shark and uh, some hump some parrotfish, hump head parrotfish, while we were looking for non-lethal tools for jellyfish. And regardless of all of that. Oh, yeah, the stingray that jumped us. Oh, my gosh. That gives us 10 meat. Wow. They're still really dangerous. They're honestly more dangerous than the sharks. Got some seahorse. And there's the real kicker right there. 33 comb jellyfish. That's going to ideally help us out a lot tonight. So we got some new things on our phone. It's just the, the Marinka cards. Let's knock him out and see. A new jelly or uh, jellyfish. <laughs> I'm talking about jellyfish so much. We got a new seahorse and something in the shallows. I think it's going to be the tilefish. Oh no, the stingray. There it is. All right, uh, and something in the medium depth. Tiger shrimp, widely reared in Southeast Asia, it is approximately 30 centimeters long thanks to its savory flavor. It's a popular ingredient. Shrimp is pretty good. Okay, and on top of that, we knocked out some Titan trigger fish as well as some barracuda. So we got ourselves some more fish tokens. We're not quite level two yet, but I'm not in too much of a hurry because the rewards aren't that great. It's still very rainy, and uh, our boat is jostling like crazy. So, without further ado, let's get back in the water. See if we can't catch some more jellyfish for tonight. Maybe some uh, other interesting things as well that'll catch a fair price for us. So look at that. I was just catching a parrotfish and we have ourselves some lovely jellyfish right here by the surface. The only issue is we don't have anything to use on them unfortunately. So I gotta swim around and look for some crates. See if I can't get a net gun, hush gun, or a squeaky toy hammer to knock them out. So unfortunately I couldn't find any non-lethal instruments to go after some jellyfish but I as I was on my, as I was looking around I came across so many new fish and like sea urchins and everything I just caught I like at least one of everything so it wasn't a total loss I got a bunch of fish row uh, cuttlefish big guy unfortunately I haven't I did, I don't have any more, like, um, shark row. I got more parrotfish, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> Look at that! There's fireworks off in the distance! <laughs> the 
The sea's pretty choppy to be coming out here in a little paddle boat, Sato. Oh, the storm is getting rowdy. Yeah, it is. Tonight, the creatures that give the super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't it excite you as a Marinka collector? Not one bit. Yeah, not really. Ha ha! If you go in the evening, you'll see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find the creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go if my diving skills were better. It's too bad. Then, I wish you luck. Ho ho ho! See you later, Santa Claus. Stormy night. Find the whirlpool. So, I mean, I could go and then find this thing, but... No, we'll just have to wait until the next storm rolls around to go do a boss fight, it sounds like. Because for right now, we got priorities, we got the restaurant and our employees to take care of, so let's get back to the kitchen. Oh, ho, look at this place. It's really popping with the fireworks in the background. Okay. So nothing new is really going on. Everybody's the same old, same old. Let's look at the staff. I mean, we don't really have enough money to comfortably be upgrading people. So let's put together a menu and get the night started. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm going to start over here just in case we get a barrage of people and we run out of wasabi. Oh, everybody's getting jellyfish. That's pretty good. Okay, so as I suspected, we need more wasabi. I'm not going to pour that beer because I'm not good at it. Ugh, I mean, I have to, I guess. I, I mean, I tried, man. Come on. Oh, I gotta make it there, but I'm so slow. Got it. Man, I gotta help serve, because if I'm serving food, then everyone else can uh, serve drinks. And that'll be more beneficial than me serving them. So I gotta clean this real fast. Run over here. I'm gonna ignore you for wanting beer, because I suck. Sorry. And then one more meal. Everyone else just wants drinks. Huh. There you go. And clean this up. And that's the end of the night. Right? Okay. We... I mean, we turned a good profit. We did we did um, pretty well. Like, we didn't get the five stars, but that's just because of the beer pours. I've really got to learn how to do that because, oh man, we're just not doing things fast enough, unfortunately. But that's on me, so. But these jellyfish people really enjoyed it, so I guess that's all that matters in the end. Alright, we got a farming report. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, as well as all the other things. Let's start with Cook's... Let's start with Duff's Weapon Shop, actually. So, I got something new in the upgrades here. The Triple Axle. I can make a Flame one, but I don't honestly care for it. I can make a Tranquilizer Rifle. Now, that is actually really interesting. 40% chance of instant tranquilization. Nine seconds. Now, does that apply to things like sharks, I wonder? I don't think it would. But if it does, imagine that. We would need to make another rifle, and we would need to make... 
We would need to get cuttlefish skin fragments. So we would have to catch a bunch of those cuttlefish. Shock rifles, lightning rifle. I don't like the lightning attachment because it just ends up killing everything. Which, uh, in turn, makes everything less valuable. So, lightning and poison are no good. Let's see the hush gun. I would need to make one, actually, so... Hmm. I could make one right now. And you know what? I think I will. There we have it, a beautiful little hush gun for us. I... Oh, no, I'm not going to equip it right away because... I will look at the upgrades, though. I'm not going to equip it right away because... Unless we're specifically going for something, it's not exactly beneficial to have the hush gun, right? Because I think even if we shot all our ammo into a shark, it wouldn't do anything to it. Let's look at the upgrades at the least. All the upgrades seem to do is... Give us more ammo, by the looks of it? Hold on. So, yeah, it would just give us one more shot. I... I mean, that's not great, but it... I get it, right? Like, if it's the best quality, you get more meat, and it probably sells for more, so... It makes sense. Okay, so now we look at cook stuff. Coffee Kim. It looks pretty, and it has a nice tingle when you eat it. Ooh... Imagine eating sushi like that. That actually does look pretty, pretty interesting. I kind of want to try some. Cobra and nothing else is new. Cool. So now we can look at our mail. Best diving spot number two. Hey there, divers. This is Diver City. Today we are introducing Hammerhead's Paradise of Costa Rica's Bajo Acleon. Hammerheads can be found in are found on Coco's Island, only accessible through live board. You can meet groups of over 100, depending on the season. Tour inquiries, call ahead. I... What? Anyways, the farm now. So, the rice paddy, the nutrition of the soil is going down. That means there's some weeds there. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, yesterday, apparently there was weeds. And I guess we have to check on it. Like, in the evening as well? Well, that kind of sucks. But, that yeah, the nutrition of the soil going down is a sign of weeds. So we got to go over there and pluck some before we end this. We caught some new stuff, by the way. Uh, yeah, these are all the things we caught. Painted Comer, Big Eye Scad, Big Eye Trevally, Dusky Grouper, Atlantic Mackerel, and some things in the shallows. Small Spotted Dart. I think that's the only one? Yeah, that's the only one. Cool. And then there's the Eco Watch, but I don't necessarily care. So, last but not least, let's check Eye Diver. I'm 500 away from getting a harpoon, the upgraded harpoon gun. Hmm. And you know what that means? We're gonna get that cash money by selling some things that uh, we don't necessarily need here. I think. Like these silver bowls. That might put us there, I think. What is this? Emergency pager. Calls an ROV to the current location used to return to the boat. This device can be used in some areas. Now that... I don't care if I would have to buy that every single time. But if you can hold on to it, that would be worth it. But I don't think you can, so... Uh... I mean, I'm not going to get it. Sell these bowls. Okay, so we need about 290-ish more, more or less. Starry Puffer Poison Sack. If eaten without properly cooked, it may end your time on this earth. Well, that's no good. Man... 
I mean, we have amethysts. Used to enhance weapons. However, this time around, it's going to be used to enhance our harpoon. Look at that. So now... Let's get this dragon bite harpoon. Yes, sir. Look at that. There's another one. What is this? Uh, super. Super alloy harpoon, whatever. I mean, at a certain point, I feel like these things are going to become like null and void, right? Because one thing is going to be just as good as the super fancy one. And I think that might be where we're at with the harpoon. Anyways, let's go to the fish farm. Or not the fish farm. So we're here at the regular farm. Let's uh, look around for weeds. I see growth. I don't see anything. Why is the soil quality going down if there's like nothing out here? So we're down here at the fish farm now. We left the regular farm because there were no weeds. I guess the it could be possible that the soil quality is just dropping naturally because the rice is growing much like it uh, would much like it would in real life, right? Like if you grow an exorbitant amount of crops in a certain area, the soil quality is going to drop just because all the nutrients are being taken out. If that's the case, that's pretty cool because that's realistic. But if it's not, then I have no idea. Okay, so unable to obtain row or breed fish in the zero to 50 meters these are all the fish that uh, got funky during all the fireworks so we got a lot of fish to look at and there's only some of these that we actually want for example these uh, cardinal fish I mean how much would a does it tell me a price okay it does each cardinal fish is three coins I only have one, apparently, but it says I have ten. That's weird. Oh, I only have one three-star cardinal fish. Okay. So I'll hold on to one, like, to the only three-star we got. And then I will sell... Ugh. Like, is it even worth it? Here, let's send them to the kitchen. We'll hold on to the three. And we'll send eight to the kitchen. That way there's still two in the tank, and we can still try and get more. We got some blue tang. Uh, send one to the kitchen. These yellow tang, they're the problem here. We got five three star. Don't necessarily need that. We'll send three to the kitchen, and then we just send the all the two stars to the kitchen as well. Like, we could sell them, but I honestly don't think any of these things would fetch a profit. We still have one white tip, which is unfortunate. We got some lion shark. How much would these fetch us if we sell? Okay, it's not worth selling. So, we'll save two. And keep and uh, send two. Wow, we have a lot of puffer fish. And a lot of, like, good quality puffer fish, too, as well. My goodness. We'll hold on to two, just like the same same deal with everything we're going to do. We're just going to smack them down to two and get rid of the excess. This actually is going to be extremely helpful. So now I don't, like, like as they said, I don't have to worry about catching so many fish because there's just quite a stockpile. It's just all about getting the appropriate fish, right? That would fetch the highest price. So what is this one? There's only one. So, uh, the Porgy, I mean, there's no point in keeping it, right? I'm just going to go ahead and send it to the kitchen because why would I keep it around? That was probably one of the fish I caught when I was looking for jellyfish and I just couldn't find a non-lethal gun. Speaking of jellyfish, we have these fried egg ones. They're practically worthless, so just get rid of them. Yellow tangs. 
I mean, these are also worthless, so just get them out of the tank so we don't have to worry about it. Here's our real bread and butter, at least one of them, the parrotfish. We have two, so now we just gotta wait for those beauties to multiply. A black and white snapper. I mean, we have one, which is good. These are actually a quality fish, so we would wanna leave them. Small spotted darter. I don't think we would need that. Let's send it to the kitchen, make some more space. Mediterranean parrotfish. I think those are beneficial to have around. Some bat fin, get it out of here. Red tooth triggerfish, those are good to have. Some sea goldies, get that garbage out of here. Lastly, we got the stingray and some shrimp. I'm gonna leave those in there. Like this tank right now, it's looking pretty good. Except for these cardinal fish. Get these cardinal fish out of here. I'm pretty sure they're garbage quality. Like we only get maybe like 10 coins out of them. So yeah, the blue tang, uh, I'm torn, right? Cause they're a classic, but you know what? No, we need the space. We can just get them out of here. And there we go. That's a nice looking aquarium right there. So we got the 50 meter and down setup. Let's look at the 130. We got some spicy fish in here. All right. The white trevallis send two of those to the kitchen and just leave two long nose shark snout of death person we only have one and we have one tiger we need more great barracuda it'd be it would be good to have an extra so i'll just save that one and big eye trevally some of these fish i didn't even catch until yesterday so i'm not in particular i'm not particular about keeping them like this cuttlefish, I mean, it would be good to have some because I think we can then, what, like farm the skin so we could upgrade our hush gun, maybe? So we'll keep that one. Atlantic mackerel. Here, hold on, let's, like, let's just hold on to some of these things, right? Or you know what? Let's, better yet, the things that we don't know, let's send them all to the kitchen and see what price they are around. And then next time we dive, we can um, see which sushi is ideal to start producing. Some big eye scad. Clown frogfish. Like, do these sell well? Uh, 10 coins is not the worst, but it's not great. It's better to have the meat. Black tiger shrimp. That I'm going to hold on to. And then I need to hold on to the coral trout as well because we need those for Michael Bang. Then right here, a blue head tilefish. See ya. And that's looking good. Nice. I only have 16 coins, so I'm not going to bother looking at the shop. See you later, Otto. No, oh, I went to the sushi bar. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. That's cool. So... I mean, I misclicked. I meant to go back to the boat. But while we're here, we might as well feed Momo. Hey, Momo. Have some common cat food. I don't think that'll ever be worth it. All right. We got all our chores squared away. And uh, more or less, just have to go dive and... Go visit the sea people again at some point. I'm not looking forward to that. And we also have to keep an eye on our farm. To make sure we got some good quality rice. I mean... There's no pest damage. That's so weird. But maybe it is just like more realistic. Oh, before we go, I'm going to look at the weather. Tomorrow's going to be stormy. That's pretty good. Because then... We can actually um, try out that whole boss fight thing as well as like go diving in the afternoon. But that's all something we can do next time. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this simple video. Not much happened, but we got a lot of, well, no, I mean, not much happened, really. It was a just a little bit of maintenance. We did get a snazzy new harpoon gun that I'm, 
a little excited to try out. But other than that, you know, we took care of one event, made some money, and uh, we cleaned up the farm. So, all in all, not a bad day. And with that recap done and dusted, that's the end of the video. I do appreciate anyone and everyone who came and stopped by and spent their time here on my humble little channel watching my videos. I very much appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and or evening. Do take care and I hope to see you again next time.